welcome to our show, presented to you by Code Pink, Woman for Peace. Okay, so here are some warm-up questions. You know the rules. Press the bottom if you know the answer. Name this world famous villain. That is Luis Almagro, the Secretary General of the Organization of the American States. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. And that is what today's contest is all about. We asked the public for 10 reasons why Almagro has to in the road. So participant number two, go to the back and we will start with participant number one. Michelle, give me five reasons why Almagro has to hit the road. I love this song. Yeah, Almagro and the OAS lead the fuse for the 2019 Kuan That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. The OAS without basis. Question the results that favored Evo Morales' re-election, setting off unrest and activating a plot that overthrew him. Almagro immediately recognized the coup government, which committed summary execution and widespread repression. Great, so now give us your second reason. Yeah, he helped legitimize four more years of the narco dictatorship led by Juan Orlando Hernandez de Honduras. That is correct. The 2017 elections in Honduras were actually ridden by fraud. And initially, Almagro and the OAS did the right thing. They denounced the fraud and called for new elections. But after the Trump administration celebrated the results, Almagro backtracked. And despite the documented crimes of Juan Orlando Hernandez's regime, he embraced and legitimized the Honduran government. Now, number three. Yeah, Almagro continued the OAS long history of interference in Haiti. Interference in Haiti, again correct in 2020 when President Jovenel Moise ruled without a parliament and gave himself an extra year in his term, the OAS issued a press release telling Haitians they should comply. Next. Yeah, he embraced the 2016 coup and the Temer regime in Brazil. Brazil, 2016 coup. Wow, Michelle, again, correct. Almagro had nothing to say about the coup against Dilma Rousseff and was quick to accept the Temer regime, visiting his government less than two months after the coup. Also, when former President Lula was arrested in 2018 and barred from the upcoming elections, Almagro and the OAS did nothing, paving the way for the right-wing extremist Jair Bolsonaro to win the presidency. And last but not least, yeah, Almagro ignored human rights abuses by uh, security forces during massive protests in Colombia, Haiti, Ecuador, Honduras, Chile. <laughs> It was human rights abuses again, correct? Yes, silence when it comes to Colombia. But he even congratulated the government of Lenin Moreno in Ecuador for its handling of the protests that left 11 dead, over a thousand injured, and hundreds arrested. He will later say that Ch former Chilean president efficiently defended the public order, the same Piñera who declared war on his country's protesters and whose police forces targeted their eyes. Michelle, you did an excellent job. Now let's bring participant number two. Okay, ready, so give me your five reasons, go. He's waging a hybrid war against Venezuela. Hybrid war against Venezuela, that is correct, Michelle. Under his watch, the OAS violated its own charters and procedures time and time again in an attempt to intervene in Venezuela. He even recognized fake interim president, Juan Guaido, and accepted his fake diplomats into the OAS, although Venezuela had formally left the organization by then. Almagro also tried to invoke the Rio Treaty, a defense pact that could have opened a path for a regional invasion of Venezuela. Next, he's one of the main drivers behind the uh, attempts at regime change in Nicaragua. Nicaragua, 
Noah, that's correct! The violence of the protesters who killed at least 60 people, including 22 police, as well as government officials and supporters, was deliberately ignored to frame a narrative and justify an intervention. Next. I have one. Um, he lashes out of the media and punishes those who criticize him. <laughs> lashes out at the media, exactly like Trump and Bolsonaro. Almagro published a bizarre rant that invoked Nazis, attacked scholars, and made absurd allegations against the New York Times. He denounced two OAS electoral observers as spies for disagreeing with his false claims of fraud in the 2019 Bolivia elections. He's corrupt. He's corrupt. He He's is corrupt. likely corrupt. Hard to argue with that. In 2018, Juan Jimenez Mayor, a spokesperson for the mission to support the fight against corruption and impunity in Honduras, resigned from his post because the lack of institutional support from Almagro and alleged corruption in the anti-corruption campaign. Next. Yeah, well, apparently he has nothing to say about the statue of Queen Isabella in front of the OAS. <laughs> statue of Queen Isabella in front of the OAS. That is correct. At times when governments all over Latin America are taking down statues that uh, pay tribute to perpetrators of genocide and racism and colonialism, Almagro has ignored a July 2021 request from Code Pink to meet to discuss removing this symbol of centuries-long Holocaust unleashed on the indigenous people of the Americas. Wow, well, ladies and gentlemen, what a match! Like nothing we've seen before with such bright contestants. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay, so I've been told that the public has more reasons why Almagro has to go. So go ahead, put them in the comments, post them on Twitter, use the hashtag Almagro Renuncia, Almagro Resign, and tell us what are your reasons to prove that Almagro has to hit the road.